Everyone knows that in order to be healthy, you must eat right, sleep right, and exercise. But what about plants? Do they also need to do the same as humans to stay healthy? Like humans, plants need a diversity of nutrients to thrive. These nutrients are commonly called fertilizers. Nitrogen, phosphorus, and potassium, along with other nutrients, are added to soils by way of commercial fertilizers and manure. Another way farmers replenish nitrogen levels is by including legumes in their crop rotation, such as peas, beans, and lentils. Like humans, plants need nutrients according to the demands of their growth stage and their environment. For example, children need extra calcium to develop strong bones, and a person living in the Arctic needs a high-fat diet to make it through the cold. It's similar with crops. Depending on what crop is being planted, its growth stage, the type of soil, and what previous crops were planted, the balance of nutrients required for best plant growth will vary. Farmers talk about the four R's, which help to minimize risks of fertilizer application to the environment. The right source and right rate of fertilizer are determined by a soil test to know the appropriate mix of nutrients to be applied and how much. No one wants to apply excess fertilizer because of the extra expense and the potential for it to move into lakes or rivers through runoff. As well, the farmer considers the right placement of the fertilizer and the right time in the crop's development when the fertilizer should be applied. These steps ensure that the nutrients are used by the crop when it's most needed and not by weeds or placed too deep that they leach down into the groundwater. Farmers also keep nutrients in their place by practicing conservation tillage and by growing permanent vegetation along the edges of all water bodies. This ensures nutrients are recycled and not lost from the agri-food web. From soils to plants to animals and humans, and then back to soils, nutrients are always in action.